the work on music and emotion was motivated by interest in finding out what kind of emotions people feel in response to music. There are these different categories of music evoked emotions that we really didn't know before, like for example wonder, feeling of being sort of, you know, kind of um, overwhelmed by the music and uh, stunned by the music, uh, seduced by the music. All these emotions were not really recognized as sort of important emotions. Uh, and so I think that had an impact on, on the field of emotion psychology as well, sort of to draw attention to sort of less well studied emotions. And uh, that also stimulated some neuroscience research. So uh, after we had developed this model, we actually chose music that was kind of very good at inducing some of these nine emotions. And look what happened in the brain. Because we were uncertain, well, it's, is it just like a, a verbal thing that people think there are these emotions, but they don't actually feel them? And so we, uh, we, we did a study where people were in the scanner and we could see that there are sort of differential brain activation patterns. So depending on whether you feel nostalgia or you feel wonder, and that was kind of a nice validation of, uh, of the model. My current work is actually more on looking at how you can um, conceptualize and measure musical abilities. So there is a lot of research now that looks at, you know, are musicians different from non-musicians and do they have some sort of special kind of talents, not only in music but in other domains. So are they better at language, are they better like uh, in their memory uh, and so on. There's a bit of a problem there in the sense that, uh, of course, not all people uh, that are not musicians are non-musical. So we developed a test to objectively uh, test musical abilities with stimuli where people have to listen to musical excerpts uh, and stimuli and make judgments, you know, so are these the same or are these different and so on. And, uh, and that's very important because what we found out is that some quite important group of, of non-musicians that even had no education actually performed quite well on the test. So now, uh, why is this work important? Because we have a much more accurate tool to look at musical ability and to see how that relates to other abilities, such as, for example, linguistic abilities, but also things like emotional intelligence, empathy, and this is what our work is focusing on right now. We've found in some studies, you know, using this objective tool, that there is indeed a link, for example, between uh, musicality and the um, uh, capacity to recognize emotion, especially in the voice. One of the reasons why this is important is because once you know that there are these links you know, between empathy and musicality or linguistic abilities and so on, and to see whether improving musical skills can actually carry over uh, onto these other abilities.